my god, dude, that is so loud. Those are the loudest whistles I've ever heard, I swear. Oh my gosh, this thing whistles now. Here's a new angle for you guys. I don't want to show you guys my entire room because it's full of boxes right now. I look like a UPS store. What we have going on here is the HKS blow off valves. Um, this is for the 3.3 twin turbo um, Kia Stinger. So let's unbox this. Everything I have here is what's necessary for install. These here are cap covers. Basically, these are for the end of chairs or the bottom parts of chairs. We're going to use this to plug up the OEM intakes because with these, you're going to have to remove or delete that vacuum line that goes back into your intake system. I have two different sizes. I have uh, one inch as well as one inch and one eighths. Um, these caps, I have two different sizes so I can make sure I find the exact size I need. And this was the most crucial part. I ordered some braided um, vacuum hose line. The reason I got this rather than the typical ones you find at AutoZone and uh, Walmart or whatever is because I want to make the car look as OEM as possible. So here are the HKS Black Edition uh, blow off valves. The reason I went with black is like I said, I want to make the car look seamlessly OEM. I like the wrinkle black. It looks really good um, compared to having it shiny and showing. Obviously, that's like sticks out like a sore thumb. In order to run these HKS blow off valves, you will need the Add W1 adapters. Um, if you guys want, you could use the discount code KO Group and make sure you get your discount for these adapters. So thank you Add W1 for these adapters once again, but you will need these in order to run them on your Kia Stinger. So let me show you guys the rundown of what you'll need. You're gonna need these here, the plugs. Um, I'll tell you at the end of the video which plug I went with that sits seamlessly with the OEM intake. You will need two Add W1 adapters as well as the obviously HKS blow off valves. This is pretty much the holy grail of blow off valves. So we're gonna run these two as well as the line, braided lines. But now that the Kia Stinger build is officially underway, I need to make the car look a little bit more aggressive than where it is right now. So I got these canards from eBay, but they're matte black and I want them to match the paint code of the car. So we're going to spray paint these to have them match. But there is one thing I dislike about it. It's this top piece here. So to make it look more like this is how the car came OEM, I'm going to actually cut the top piece on each of these. That way it looks like it's flush to the car rather than a big piece sticking out done painted to match gloss black i'm going the extra mile what i'm going to do is actually match the black chrome on the car so i have two different um options here i have one from vivid and then the other brand would be let me see tech wrap so I'm trying to see which one looks as close as possible to the chrome trim that's on the car currently. So here's a quick comparison with chrome and without chrome. Comment down below which one you guys like better. Now I'm going to apply the first one on. First side's on with the chrome. It looks really, really identical to the chrome on the car. Almost identical. I actually dig it. But comment down below, should we rock that design or just all black or leave it without the arrow i personally think having these gloss black rather than matte black i'd say go the extra mile and buy the gloss black option i mean it does cost i think like 30 bucks more or paint them yourself these are not going anywhere damn they look so good rear and fronts are done i think chrome is the move that looks really good matches identical to the chrome on the car really close now that those splitters or arrow pieces are on, we could start putting on the HKS blow off valve. But actually, I know you guys want to hear how the car sounds stock compared to HKS blow off valve. So I'm going to rev it up a little bit, try to see if we could hear the OEM blow off valves go off. So like every other car install, you're going to need your traditional toolbox. So mainly a 10 millimeter socket, 
but you're definitely gonna need some snap ring pliers something like this here because these HKS blow off valves do use snap rings to them now let's get to voiding this warranty we're gonna finally put the first performance mod on the car so let's remove this hose here this is gonna be the blow off valve to the air intake system simply just remove these clamps out of the way now this is crazy this is gonna be our first performance mod done to the car remember the goal is to have a sleeper build so let's get to it just like that our first hose is disconnected now we have to get to the bottom piece down here let me show you guys something so this is what I meant by the braided lines I wanted to do something just like the way Kia has it here but because of uh, the new design with the HKS blow off valves you do need some more lines so what people do is buy some vacuum hose lines and simply they look they don't look stock they look more like these here but these you could tell are from factory they look something like this one here basically but I didn't want that look I wanted it to look as OEM as possible so I bought some spare lines just like this here so we can match the style of the engine bay the way it is right now so I have the OEM hoses removed so we're gonna have to cap off these plugs down here so I have two different sizes like I said I have a inch and these are the inch and this is gonna be the inch and one eighth fits on but not that snug but it seems like actually it might be these here like like this design it matches exactly the OEM pieces here on the intake let's try the inch size and see if that one works out if not we're gonna do the one inch and one eighth actually these fit perfect these are actually really snug and this is the one inch yeah these are gonna be the one inch here so it seems like we're gonna use these here it looks a little bit more flush this is actually quite bigger let me show you guys the heads are a little bit bigger I like this design much better now we're gonna use the OEM clamps to cap off to make sure these pieces here don't come off If you guys want any of these shoot me a DM or a comment down below I'll make sure to get you guys the exact size this is a one inch um i think i could ship them out to you for like five bucks with the shipping included so shoot me a little dm or comment down below if you guys want these if you so happen to run the hks blow off valve now we're going to remove the oem blow off valves before you do so you want to disconnect this hose here so i'm going to remove it from the bottom piece here just use some small needle nose pliers that should do the trick you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket extension as well and simply just remove all four of these bolts here and that's how you will remove your OEM blow off valves so I have the OEM blow off valves removed as well as hoses I installed one of the HKS blow off valves that way you guys can see how it looks and I know exactly how to install it the problem was that the hose line I ordered is actually the wrong size this is seven millimeters and I needed five millimeters so using the vacuum hoses that you could pick up from O'Reilly and stuff but once the new braided vacuum hoses come in obviously we're gonna install those instead so let me open up the last HKS blow off valve and if you guys are wondering why I went with HKS compared to other brands this is the top of the line this is like the holy grail of car, of car stuff HKS is a very well-known brand and this is not your typical blow-off valve let me read you guys exactly so it's a dual valve design the HKS super sequential blow-off valve is a dual stage pull type relief valve which will not leak under any level of boost this ensures a quick valve response and complete closure during idle you guys want to see the blow-off valve itself it does come with this here it comes with the, the C clip which you do need but this o-ring you won't need if you have the add w1 adapter plate it already comes with the o-ring and this o-ring will not fit well with this one but the only thing we're going to need from here is going to be the c-clamp which is where this tool comes in handy this thing looks so good here's the inside loft valve sequential and then hks plated all around this looks sick since 1973 made in japan hks that way you know it's authentic as well as the serial number so like i said all we need is this c clamp here and this is where this tool comes in handy the hks comes with the o-ring but the o-ring you'll need is the one that's on the adw1 because this o-ring's a little bit smaller and it won't fit properly 
you don't want to have any boost leaks so just use the one that comes with the AdW1 and also as well as the bolts the bolts here are a little shorter because the thickness on this plate is a little bit thinner compared to the OEM one so it's a little shorter in length and the reason being is like I said the plate here is a little bit smaller so you will need to run this if you run this you're gonna over thread and break the connection point now I'm gonna install the C clip on here I'm gonna show you guys how it works so what you're gonna need is to wrap the C clip around the band of the HKS blow off valve there's two holes here we're gonna insert the needle heads onto those holes and you're gonna press them you're gonna press these in you want to close them up and once they're closed enough all the way you can sit it inside of the flange of the connector and it will spread back open and hold the HKS blow off valve into place C clip is in it's easier to push in the C clip with your left hand pressing one side and this pressing down so I recommend the straight head rather than the curved or bent one now let's connect the HKS blow off valve onto the OEM intercooler system here's a little design I made I'm gonna have the hose going straight down the center instead of going to the side but before you connect the HK blow off valve you want to remove this ring or o-ring or seal from the OEM blow off valve because this doesn't come with a ring here you're gonna have to use the OEM one here you want to make sure you have it sealed all the way down and just like that it's sealed and we can now put this new blow off valve onto the car now I'm gonna hand tie the hardware first that way I prevent any cross threading. The cool thing about these, you could turn them any way you want without having any issue with um, boost leak or anything because the C-clip makes sure to hold it down in place. So using this set of vacuum connectors, I'm gonna use a T, like I said, later in the future, once I get the new line, I'm gonna use the OEM style. Future Frankie here, and this is what I was talking about, OEM style. We have the braided lines. The only problem going on right now is that I didn't have enough of the OEM style clamps. So I had to run some black ones for now, but I do have some in back order just waiting for them to arrive and we'll replace the black clamps with the OEM style colored ones. Looks almost OEM. I'm gonna put the hat on and I'll show you guys exactly how it looks. So here's a completed blow off valve installation, OEM style. Looks really good really sleeper and very sleek love the way it came out I'm gonna drive the car around and hear how these HKS blow off valves sound under boost so before with the OEM blow off valves there used to be little to no sound after uh, harsh acceleration or boost. Damn, I thought that was a cop. I got really scared right now. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, I'm about to take my GoPro off. Let's hear how it sounds under slight boost. Let's go to first gear. Oh shit. Yo, that's loud as hell. Oh my god, dude. That is so loud. Holy shit. Yo. Okay, bullshit aside, that is the loudest blow valve I've ever heard in my life. That is way louder than the one on my freaking race car. Let's try it again. Oh my gosh, under even little boost, little boost right here. Yo, that's like barely any acceleration. And that thing's just making fat whistles. Oh my god, I'm gonna do a rip right here. A little ripperino right here. Yo, that is crazy. Definitely worth the money. Holy shit, this is under sport mode. All right, here we go. Oh my dude, that is so loud. Yo, that is the loudest blow off ops I've ever heard in my life. That is crazy. Yo. All right, let me show you guys just to prove it. I'm gonna go under low boost, barely one bar of PSI. Look at that, just downshift. 
oh my gosh the gates doesn't even move of psi it barely gets one psi and it's making fat whistles now let's go full throttle oh that is that's game changer dude that is so loud holy shit oh that is oh that is music to my ears those are the loudest whistles i've ever heard i swear i promise you i mean it could be the fact that there's no exhaust system on the car therefore it's literally pure blow off valve noise but man that is so loud people are going to be breaking their necks every time i pull up and even under slight acceleration just letting go of the gas after any sort of acceleration it whistles oh that is sick dude before with the oem blow off valves it made no noise like this car sounded like an electric engine and now with that that thing sounds crazy it's ridiculous how loud it is so cars in sport mode just to show you guys this is just slight acceleration look at this slight acceleration and this thing's whistling like crazy here's a little bit of boost slight boost oh my gosh that is so loud oh shit that is so loud <laughs> Yo, this thing whistles. That is crazy. Oh my gosh, this thing whistles now. Just those two blow off valves making that crazy whistle noise. Oh my god, dude, that is so loud. like super loud yeah sounds like a honk from a train <laughs> that's crazy Something to take away from the video is that HKS blow off valves are the way to go. These things make crazy whistling noises. Sounds like a freight train coming your way. <laughs> Highly recommend them. HKS, if you guys want to sponsor this build or create an affiliation code to put in the description, that would be awesome. But that's going to be it for now. Guys, please hit the like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't yet done so. Stay tuned because we have so many more mods to do onto the Stinger. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.